Health and Wellbeing Queensland have created a podcast series called The Clinician's Guide to Healthy Kids. It's a podcast series aimed at GPs and other health professionals to help them feel confident to embed routine weight management into their clinical practice through health behaviour conversations. We want to help every kid stay as healthy for as long as they can be so that they can move and enjoy life. It's really aimed at healthcare professionals who may not have had formal nutrition training, may not have had formal uh, physical activity training, or may not be sleep experts so that they feel comfortable having health behaviour discussions. And by health behaviour discussions, I mean talking around how many fruit and veggies someone might be eating in a day, or how their sleep is going, or how active they are, or how sedentary they are. For me as a dietitian, I see the podcast series as so important because I see lots of kids referred to me who come to see me with unhealthy higher body weights or unhealthy lower body weights. By the time they come to see me with unhealthy higher body weights, they're often experiencing bullying, a lack of confidence, they might be disengaging with school or sport and that can have a whole range of consequences. They might be, it might be school attendance, it could be fights in the family, they might be um, disengaging from their social relationships. It can affect the kid in so many different ways. And I always feel really sad for these kids and for their parents, because by that point, losing weight and changing those really embedded behaviors is really hard. And I often wonder what their health and their weight might have looked like if they'd received support earlier, especially as often the support I give these families are really simple swaps around nutrition, movement or sleep. And by earlier, I mean prevention. If every time a child, regardless of their weight, even when they're a healthy weight, walked into the GP or to see the practice nurse or even another health professional like a dentist, and that professional talked about health behaviors, asking about how many fruit the child's had, asking about how many veggies, or their discretionary food, or how active they are. So not focused on weight, but on health behaviors. I often think that child would not be coming to me or be coming to see me still in a much healthier body.